Hi everyone! Recently we have begun any video calendar with the phrase the US dollar index has printed a fresh 20-year peak. Today we are not saying anything new. The US dollar index, which measures the greenback's strength against a basket of six major currencies, has topped the level of 109 points. The stronger-than-expected inflation data in the US reinforced the likelihood of more aggressive monetary tightening by the US Fed. Now let's discuss what events will influence market sentiment at the beginning of the next week. On Tuesday, July 19th, the flow of macroeconomic data will start with a report on the UK labour market. Notably, employment data from the UK has been commonly upbeat even in time of crisis. The consensus suggests that the number of unemployment claims went further down in June. If so, this information will prop up the pound sterling. Indeed, the healthy labour market is the condition for another rate hike by the Bank of England. This policy move will be on the agenda for actions against soaring inflation. Broadly, in the European Union, the ECB also has to report to an increase in the key interest rate amid runaway inflation. On Tuesday, Eurostat will provide the revised data on consumer inflation. The final CPI is likely to match the flash estimate at 8.6%. Sky high on consumer inflation is a weighty argument for the ECB to tighten its monetary policy. The odds are that the regulator will raise interest rates in July for the first time in the last 11 years. Years. The market will apparently give a muted response, as the rate hike has been already priced in on the grounds of a pre preliminary CPI. The UK will also report on its consumer inflation for June on Wednesday. The annual CPI rate for May was recorded at the highest level since 1982. Inflation hardly eased in June. It's difficult to predict a market response. On the one hand, rising consumer prices assure the central bank to take action and raise the key interest rate, which is bullish for the pound sterling. On the other hand, a cycle of rate hikes make a, makes a recession scenario more realistic which on the contrary spoils the investment opportunities for the British currency. The situation is no better in Canada. Soaring inflation is also putting a strain on the economy. The CPI for June is expected to grow to 8% on a yearly basis. Remarkably, the Bank of Canada ventured into a drastic rate hike by 100 basis points at a time on Wednesday, though bold analysts had predicted a rate increase of 75 basis points. Perhaps the monetary authorities will go ahead with further aggressive monetary tightening. Speaking about statistics from the US, it makes sense to pay attention to the report on the US housing market, which is due on July 20th. Existing home sales will shed light on consumer activity. These events will influence market sentiment at the beginning of the next week. Subscribe to our channel and stay in touch with the latest news. See you soon!